Rick Wiles is a far right wing evangelical host. And he's one of my favorite people to cover because he is so insane. And you watch him say stuff and you're like, I don't know how anybody allows this on the air. I mean, obviously, if you're broadcasting on the internet, that's you can say whatever you want, which is wonderful. That's a good thing. <laughs> but, you know, he's got a prof very professional setup. Looks like there's some capital that's been invested in his little business that he's got going here. And then he just opens his mouth and it is just astonishing the stuff that he says. So here he is on his show, casually talking about impeachment, and look at what comes out of his mouth. The way the Jews work, They're de they are deceivers. <laughs> they plot, they lie, they do whatever they have to do to accomplish their political agenda. This impeached Trump movement is a Jew coup. And the American people better wake up to it really fast because this thing is moving now towards a vote in the House and then a trial in the Senate. We could have a trial by before Christmas. This country could be in civil war at Christmas time. That's right. Members of the U.S. military are going to have to take a stand, just like they did in the 1860s with the Civil War. They're going to have to decide, are you fighting for the North or the South? Members of the government are going to have to take a side. Instead of north, south, it's going to be left or right. People are going to be forced, possibly by this Christmas, to take a stand because of this Jew coup in the United States. We have weeks to stop it. That's why I'm speaking out. That's why I'm putting everything on the line, saying this is a coup led by Jews to overthrow the constitutionally elected president of the United States. And it's beyond removing Donald Trump. It's removing you and me. That's what's at the heart of it. That's right. You have been taken over by a Jewish cabal, a Bolshevik revolution, and I'm going to tell you, the Church of Jesus Christ, you're next. Get it through your head. They're coming for you. Th there will be a purge. That's the next thing that happens when Jews take over a country. They kill millions of Christians. Dog, what? <laughs> How is he saying all this insane stuff? What? And I like how he flipped the history on its head at the end there. Like, you know, all these Jews, they're going to do a genocide of Christians, obviously. Wasn't in the 1940s, wasn't it? Wasn't it like all the way around? Like... <laughs> Okay, but this is, I mean, honestly, all jokes aside for a second, like, this is the rhetoric that's actually used when guys like him would end up doing a vicious genocide, is the idea is like, oh my god, they're coming for you, 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 you gotta, you gotta fight back. And even though he would be the aggressor, he's acting like, I, nope, I'm just fighting back. It's a purge of... Uh, Christians, and so I got to make sure that doesn't happen. So what am I going to do? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go kill them. It's it's wild, man. Now, thankfully, my guess is he has about seventeen viewers. Three of them are in his own family, <laughs> so it's not. He's got no juice. He's got no pull. But it's crazy to see that this this ideology, this ph philosophy, is still a thing, and there are people who believe it. It's absolutely mind-boggling. It really is. Um, so he said, that's what they do, meaning the Jews. He said, he says it's a Jew coup. I can't, like, what? Um, he said there's going to be a civil war during Christmas. Now, I'm not too much of a betting man, but I'm willing to bet that's not true. <laughs> I'd put quite a bit of money on that one. Oh my goodness. How did, like, he always does this. He proclaims things and they don't come true. And then he, then he just acts like he didn't proclaim them and he wasn't dead wrong. Um, he spoke about there's going to be a Bolshevik revolution. By the way, a lot of the people who are pro impeachment are obviously not Jewish. A lot of the people who are anti impeachment are Jewish. So, like, 
what kind of mental pretzels do you have to twist yourself in to make yourself believe that it's like a cabal of Jews who are driving impeachment and like, you know, it's only Christians who are against it. It's just like this, he's got a weird worldview that he superimposes, a weird, hateful, anti-Semitic worldview that he superimposes onto reality and then acts like he's keeping it real and telling the truth. It's kind of amazing, like how deluded he is. It, I guarantee you this is a guy who every failure he's ever had in his life, he blamed minorities. Probably Jews, based off what you just saw there, but... I could see him for whatever it might be. Maybe he didn't get a job one time as a kid. He blamed either the Jews or he blamed minorities, black people. It's affirmative action keeping me down. That's definitely the kind of guy Rick Wiles is. Now, he's very entertaining because he's so incredibly stupid. But also, we just got to keep an eye, man, because these are ultimately, you know, if there's somebody with more charisma than him that believes exactly what he believes, that's beyond dangerous. Because we've seen how that plays out in history, and it ain't pretty to say the least.